Roger back at you with a Dread Drake Part 2 video. I got a little distracted last video because I rolled that Berserk 5. But anyways, here's a 6-star Dread Drake here with uh, 2,700 attack, 47,000 hit points. This is then a 7-star Dread Drake with about 3,000 damage and 54,000 hit points, rounding there to the nearest 1,000. Uh, very fast movement speed, too, there being at uh, 285 with a 1,200 attack rate. Just going to use some books to get this sucker all the way from 120 to 140. Trying to use the least amount of books possible. And then I will spend my honor badges. This means I cannot upgrade my Vlad Dracula to 10 star which means I can't evolve them but I do need to focus here I do I did need to spend some time effort and energy on Dread Drake here's a 7 star 3200 attack 57,000 hit points taking him up to an 8 star with 3400 attack and 62,000 hit points which you can see there I'm at 4 of 10 right now and quite clearly we need to get that up to at least 5 of 10 and then I'll take Dread Drake into the arena and let's test him out the new one Man, I wish you could just click this thing and then how many would you like to buy? I would like to buy 10. You know what I'm saying? So what's that? Four. So, oh, that's the wrong one. How many of these did I buy? As you can see, I got a lot of shards, so this is not a huge issue. Nice, nice. That's 60,000. I don't need 75, so I'll buy a few of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, one. I think I got it up there. So let's come back in. Oops. That figured that one. Where is he now? My altar. He should be a little bit closer to me now. There he is. Oh, yeah. He's definitely a lot closer. Did I get all my essences? Consume items. My new greenies are here. Three, four. Four of those. One, two, three of these. And a thousand more. So six, one, two, three, four. Oh, right. I gotta do these first. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, back out of there. So that takes them to a. Wait a minute. What is going on? Two, three, four. <laughs> what is going on, people? Oh, we don't want to overdo it. Let's not go too crazy here. What the heck? What's going on here? Oh, did it actually consume those? Oh, good. Oh, jeez, what's going on? <laughs> oh, wow. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Now we got deals 130% damage to seven random targets and stuns them for 1.5 seconds. Negate 65% of damage taken for two and a half seconds. Cooldown of three seconds. Got a revive five and a fast energy restore. And we should gotta we gotta go use him in the arena, don't you think? Alright, let's challenge a sucker. I know I can't hold rank, people. I can't hold rank. Tell me tell me how I'm, I'm, just, I'm terrible. I gotta go find this guy. You're supposed to be fast too, right? Let's see the sucker run. I know I'm not. I'm not very good at clicking this when I'm on blue stacks. I need a touch screen. I need a touch screen. That would be perfect. And then oh, I need this guy. Go. <laughs> There's my team, I guess. So I guess I used to use Spirit Mage. Okay, Spirit Mage, because I don't have Aries, as you can see. So oh, I'm going head to head. So I'm gonna stun those guys. Oh, look at that. There's a level one in there. Funny. So he's got that fast power. Oh, and he just keeps stunning him and keeps stunning him. He doesn't negate the need to have a Ares, does he? Know? How did this guy sneak up so far in the rankings? Like, that was a little bit too easy. Well, let's be honest. Look at what rank I'm at. All right, all these Ares teams. Isn't isn't Ares overrated now is what people are telling me? I don't, I don't know about that. All right, so I'm going to hit him with the stun. That If I did have Ares, that would allow my Ares to get to get a little bit um, head start if I was on an open lane which of course I'm not on an open lane right now so he just owns me oh he actually didn't totally own me though but he's got the evolved he's got the evolved Vlad Dracula KJS 88 in the arena let's go KJS 88 challenge again and we're just gonna edit set up and come into the bottom lane and see if we can't sneak by this guy Oh, where do I put that berserk? I need to know. I need to know. 
I'm gonna ask my bro is in the bro code. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's pretty interesting there. That's pretty interesting. When you get that fast recovery and revite five, you automatically toss your little deals. Look at that delay. And now Minotaur is gonna proc. And then my Santa Boom's gonna proc here, right there. And then my Dread Drake's gonna proc again. What the hell? That is sick. That's not even fair. I feel bad. I feel bad for those guys. You know what I would love to see is I would love to see a um, Ghoulam in the arena. Let's see if we can't hit one. Oh, there we go. It doesn't matter if I hit him with my Dread Drake bombs. And then he gets me with the Ares, so he's probably got this one. Yeah, the second I hit an Ares, I lose, though. I mean, it's just game over. Oh, that's my problem here. So I have to go middle lane on this guy, and then I got him. But, I mean, you're wasting a lot of arena chances there. And so I just gotta move my lane. And this is the dirty... The, uh... Dirty avoidance tactic. I, I can't face, I can't go head to head against an Ares team, you see. But if I get my Minotaur out there and I stun his team, and I got Dread Drake just laying out bombs like crazy. I mean that that gets that me that delay I need, so that my Minotaur can then stun his team, and then my Santa Boom procs, and then it's pretty much game over. My Minotaur's got uh, for his crest a sprint set. I want to say only sprint two. I wish I had a three, but. So that bomb cooled him off, that Santa Boom hit him, and the Dread Drake bombs again. I mean, definitely better than Spirit Mage in the arena by far. That was not even a comparison. That was not even a fair fight. But again, the second I hit that Ares, I'm done. Anyways, that's my video, guys. I'm so glad to have him. I got a lot of videos planned, and this was an extra super long one, but as I was keeping it to the end, dirty up.